So I just wanted to do a quick video about the interview Elon Musk did earlier today in which he said he would indeed restore Trump's Twitter account once his purchase of Twitter goes through. Here's a brief clip. Are you planning to let Donald Trump back on? I, I do think that uh, uh, it was not correct to ban Donald Trump. I think that was, that was a mistake. It alienated a large part of the country and did not ultimately result in Donald Trump not having a voice. He is now going to be on Truth Social. I guess the answer is that I, 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 I would reverse the perma ban. It was a fun, I, th I think it was a morally bad decision, to be clear, and, and foolish in the extreme. Musk's statement that it was a morally bad decision to ban Trump is quite stunning and once again portrays Trump as the victim in all this, a role that Trump loves to play. In Trump's eyes, if people were only fair to him, they'd realize how great he truly is. Ironically, Trump's ban from Twitter probably helped him in the long term, at least from the perspective of his supporters, as it only reinforced their belief that Trump was treated unfairly by everyone from day one. It's this astounding supernatural loyalty to the man that dismisses any criticism as being biased. Trump is truly a Teflon Don, and nothing bad sticks to him. In fact, attempting to make something stick just makes him stronger, as far as they're concerned. Besides, as we all know, if for some reason you do criticize him, it's only because you hate Trump, or are a rhino, or liberal, or just spouting fake news. In other words, criticizing Trump means you're not being fair to Trump. The truth tells a different story, as it was Trump's sheer vileness that resulted in so much pushback against him, such as his Twitter and Facebook bans, his willingness to denigrate others, incessantly lie, and be the crude and ignorant man he is, was at the heart of much of this. I have no doubt that the vile one will return to Twitter sometime in the next few months. Trump himself has said he wouldn't, and that Truth Social is where he's staying, but just like so much else of what he has said, don't believe it for a second. That's all for this short video, and I'll be back in a couple of days with something more in-depth. Thanks for watching, and if you care, leave a comment, please do. I'll talk to you guys soon.